the TSA is expecting a busy Labor Day weekend at airports following a summer of record travel. CBS's Chris Van Cleve has more. Naveen Chopra is hoping to beat the Labor Day rush by squeezing in one last summer trip with his family now, trading the blistering heat of Phoenix for Calgary. Before the kids go back into college, and then just having some time before everyone's back in the offices and school. AAA says domestic travel will be the focus this Labor Day weekend, trending up 9% over last year. The cost to fly is down about 6%, and gas prices are roughly 44 cents a gallon cheaper than this time last year. United Airlines expects Friday, August 30th, to be its busiest day of the long holiday weekend. Overall, this summer has been busier than last summer. AAA says the top destination, Seattle, driven by a nearly 30% surge in Alaskan cruises, helping Anchorage and Juneau, Alaska make their top 10 list. There is this desire to go cruising, primarily because people can budget that vacation ahead of time. You know how much you're going to spend on drinks, you know how much you're going to spend on lodging, so you don't have to worry about it too much. Travel website Priceline says while Europe and beach destinations are always big, the return of college football and the U.S. Open in New York are also going to be big draws. CEO Brett Keller. Event tourism has really taken off over the last couple of years, and this Labor Day in particular, big college towns are taking off, Atlanta, Miami, Nashville. There's a lot of people chasing sporting events as well as concerts. Is it too late to start thinking about Labor Day weekend? It's not too late to start thinking about Labor Day weekend. And if you're flexible with your destination, that really opens you up to cherry pick and find a location that fits your needs at a great price. For one last taste of record-breaking summer travel, Chris Van Cleve, CBS News, Phoenix.